Okay, take two. Um, weather is much better today. So that is a plus. <laughs> Big plus. And my clothes have dried out, boots are dried out, pants are dried out, gloves are dry. Did the tire pressures last night. So, all good. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention is um, the newer GoPro neck for the Jaws clamp is tighter. And I did notice yesterday um, when I was riding along that it was flimsier. And then, yeah, so anyway.
would you like to live here? Beautiful. Anyway, I'm on my way to on my way to Puwong, where my in-laws used to live. Okay, so I'm only a little bit out of um, Puong, like I said, where my in-laws used to live. I think they were there for about 10 years. Hay bales. So this is actually someone's land. And of course, got to get the, um, the motorbike in. I'm kind of wishing I brought some. It's not as, it's supposed to be 20 today. I don't know down the Gippsland if it's going to be 20, but um, I kind of wish I brought my gauntlet gloves and had my hoodie on. All right, someone's showing up. Probably the owner. In, in Puong. Look, they've put a sign up. Puong, 100th, 150th anniversary, 20 to the 21st of April Well, at least the weather's behaving itself in terms of, oh, hang on, just notice that. Let me just deal with that.
grand mighty moors used to live up that up the hill at that service lane. Sister Law um, will remember this. This is the um, Pirwong Uniting Church. That's where her and her husband were married. And I gave a little talk, a little religious talk. Although there is solar panels on it now, on the roof. Yeah. That's the pub we had many a meals we used to um where they where the in-laws lived uh we did drive here but where the in-laws lived up that hill the service lane um if you can call it a service lane we used to walk there's a few times i think we actually when we came here for lunch we actually walked down here to the pub <coughs> so interesting fact for you one thing that surprised me hang on I'll move on. Okay, the old Kuong branch milk depot. Many cows. Yeah, riding through here, because I actually wasn't here too long ago, probably a month ago maybe, did some more GoProing anyway. Is the new development going on? Like, there's actually, it's been here for years, but these are like a newer, little new estate in Puwong. And um, yeah, so um, and even like just coming in here, that just looks like there's some new development going on. But going through the main street, going through the main street, it just looks dead. Like just, just looks dead. Like there's been no progress whatsoever. But there's some new development going on. That's what I, that's what surprises me door yeah it just it's kind of strange that like even down there looks like some you know new roofs new buildings but the township looks fucking dead like honestly the yeah 
There is a, a there is a, a supermarket. It's just strange, eh? Hmm. You would have thought that if there's going to be new development of homes and whatnot, that it would be a growing town. I mean, we are in regional Victoria, down the Gippsland, South Gippsland. But yeah, just odd. Find new developments, new housing, etc. But that is. It is Sunday, New Year's Eve, uh, Sunday morning, New Year's Eve morning, but yeah, it just township's dead, like quiet, ghostly. I just, I just want to add, I'm not trying to criticise the township of Puong in um, Victoria, South Gippsland. It is, it is beautiful, honestly. It's, it's gorgeous. If you're looking for the quiet life. Um, this would be an area that you that would probably suit you well you know more than probably would suit you it is absolutely beautiful um, you know if, <laughs> if the quiet life isn't really what you want then country Victoria regional Victoria isn't for you um, but I just wanted to put it out there just because I said you know it's surprising it's you know there's it looks like there's new development going on um, you know, because of the township looks dead. I should have worded it better. It's just very quiet. It just doesn't look like like the shops um, in the main street. You know, it, it doesn't look like there's been any change or any new development in that area um, over since I've known the place anyway. Um, well, known of the township anyway, but I, I just find it funny how these new housing going up um, I know there is this, a small school but yeah I, know, I just find it funny but yeah it look you know it's a it's a gorgeous area to live in if, if you love the idea of you know getting up in the morning and seeing the, the meadows and going to bed and having a you know um, sunset going out on the porch or the back veranda and having a red which most likely I would like to do um, I'm not as into beer as I was when I was younger um, but anyway um, then if that's your sort of thing to sit on the front veranda a uh, front porch or back veranda go for it personally I would love to do something like that maybe not live in country Victoria at the moment um, but yeah, I just don't want anyone thinking that I'm putting the township down because I'm not. So, there you go. So this is the primary school. It looks old. It's old, small. Pioneer Chapel. So the Pioneer Chapel, so according to that sign there, it says it was a Methodist church in 1878 to, eight, to 1977 and a Uniting Church from 1977 to 1981 and now the Puwong Historical Group from 1981 to, to present day. On by that, looks like I've got to change the battery on this, so just bear with me. Well, that was fun. I just took a couple of photos. Now I've got to get myself out of here. You can tell these people in regional Victoria aren't used to uh, metropolitan people. A few, few funny looks I've got. Yeah. Particularly when I stopped at the primary school, there was a, 
the local man and his kid looking at me like I was an alien. Understandable. Anyway, let's get out of here.
need to apologize I got all that I need No need to apologize No, we won't waste any more Just got home Just got from my trip um, to Puwong. Um, just wanted to show you this is where the magic is made. Um, but more importantly, I wanted to wish everybody a happy and safe New Year 2024. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas with their family and friends. Um, yeah, so I look forward to bringing, bringing you uh, more videos, more material um, in 2024. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching my videos. Um, again, I wish everyone a happy new year, very safe and happy new year. Um, yeah, so take care and um, see you in the new year. Bye-bye.